Hello, welcome to Shad Life. I am actually here with the State Trail Plus Fat Bike. I guess that's the name of it. <laughs> I just think they could have come up with a cooler name. Um, and I am here at the Minnesota River Bottoms, which is down there. <laughs> um, and the sun is dropping, so I will be bringing lights. You can see I have my big uh, Knight Rider Lumina Duo. This thing's a beast. Um, but yeah, we're gonna take this bike down on the river bottoms. This is my first chance to ride it and probably my only window of opportunity. Um, it is extremely weird this year because it's like 50 degrees right now, which is way warmer than it really normally is this time of year. Um, we have like zero snow, as you can see, like not even an ounce. We had a little bit on the ground the other day, but it just all melted away. Um, so, <laughs> it's just going to be a dirt ride on this bike to check it out. Um, but I can get a good assessment of it uh, riding on the river bottoms. This is a popular trail, especially for fat bikes. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about this bike. So, let's hit the trail. Wow, this is kind of amazing that this is <laughs> mid-December is not usual all right so let's talk about a couple of initial impressions on this bike first of all let's talk about fit I went with the state recommended fit and at least in the front it feels too um long up front for me um, I could put a shorter stem on I'm leaving everything stock here so stock bar stock stem the other thing that's weird is that the well so if I was to put like a 50 millimeter stem on here and like 30 31 inch wide bars uh, that would make a big difference in the front end and I'd probably even go with a little bit higher rise bar and put me in that position that I would like to be in uh, as far as ride feel it's the bars that kind of make it feel weird but like handling it feels pretty good um, it's got that 71 degree head angle but like I said before as much as that's kind of old school because it seems like the geometry on this bike is quite old school <laughs> um for fat bikes i actually kind of like a steeper head angle i feel like it gets rid of that uh self-steering kind of feel that you usually get on a fat bike so i i think fat bikes should kind of stick with the steeper head angle vibe because of the big wheels and tires it just makes sense let's get to some more technical stuff here <laughs> yeah so <laughs> It'd be nice to have a dropper. <laughs> like I said in my initial unboxing, the dropper on this, or this bike frame isn't dropper compatible. You'd have to like drill your own hole or something. And honestly, on a bike this cheap, <laughs> I wouldn't have any issues drilling a hole in the seat tube because I know it wouldn't harm the integrity of the frame. <laughs> here we go again i gotta remember that my seat is right there all right i can definitely feel the heft of this bike it is a heavy bike um at the end of this ride there's a steep climb so i have to see how this bike does on that climb. Well, that 
was a fun crossing. Oh, look at this. Technical. So this is where I would want wider bars. And, uh... The shorter stem. <sighs> Alright. Sweet. I'm actually quite impressed with these cheapy pedals. These like plastic <laughs> low-end pedals they put on stock bikes like this. I think they're the same pedals that came on the Canyon Grand Canyon 5. And I didn't mind the pedals on that bike either. I never switched out to like some of my own personal pedals that I really like. I mean they're not superb but they're pretty decent and because i ride bmx on my bmx bike i tend to like pedals that don't death grip my shoes i like a little bit of movement but i do like my foot to still be planted and so these pedals feel like that which is plenty good like it's kind of funny This is where our fat bike kind of shines. <laughs> Pretty soupy. It's always soupy in this area. See, big tires just go right through it. Cool. Oh my gosh, there's actually some remnants of snow. <laughs> Shocker. So one thing I'm noticing on this bike, it's a big weak spot, is it's a drivetrain. I can feel the cranks flexing, like they just aren't very stiff, which is something I generally don't feel on mountain biking in general unless I'm getting really gnarly in terrain or downhill or something. Definitely feel it in BMX if a BMX crank is flexing. But yeah, I can feel that flex in the cranks. And then the, the Altus derailleur, the nine speed drivetrain, pretty weak, doesn't shift very good. I've been playing around with it to get it to shift better. And it's slow to shift into gear. It's kind of old school, like, Reminds me of shifting 15 plus years ago with like a lower end system. But nowadays it's just like click bam, click bam, right? This is like click. There, that was a delayed shift. Delayed. Yep. So it's okay, it's survivable, but it's not very good and then the range I think it has a 42 <laughs> tooth is the easiest gear the biggest gear and that just isn't enough even by downsizing the front one to 28 it just that uh, 42 tooth be nice to have like a 46 or something like that Hello. Good one. Thank you. So yeah, not a very wide gear range for a fat bike, especially one that's this heavy. I, I kind of baffled because State <laughs> has their own 11 speed drivetrain that's actually pretty decent. <laughs> And I don't know why that isn't on this bike. And 
case you're wondering if the bell works. <laughs> Comes with a bell. So, this bike definitely would not fall into a category of being like a shredder. It's way too heavy, and certainly not with the stem and handlebars too far forward. Um, so hopping it or jumping it, it's a beast. And the geometry just isn't quite set up for that. But if you're somebody that wheels on the ground kind of rider and you just want a fat bike to plow through things like the sand right here this will do it i'm glad that i was able to get out and try this thing <laughs> so beautiful out this is exactly what I needed wow so before the sun goes down any further which is <laughs> getting pretty low uh, we're not that far from the equinox, what, like six days, seven days, something like that. Um, so here it is. Just want to talk about this bike for a couple minutes. And then hopefully on my way back, it gets dark enough for me to get you some night footage. We'll see. Um, so uh, I like the geometry. I mean, I, I've, I've seen a few other reviews on this bike and they didn't, they talk, called this old school geometry i think what i like about it is i actually did upsize to a medium and so i get a longer um reach and a steeper head angle and i just i think fat bikes actually need to have a 70 71 degree head angle my salsa monk Luck has a 68 and sure it's fine it it you know i can shred on that bike it's light it's got a more progressive geometry that you can shred with that's fine right i like that but for this kind of riding it self steers a lot because as you get into that slacker head angle and you get these big tires they tend to self steer so i think the way to kind of get around that self steering issue with fat bikes is to have a steeper head angle and because you have these big wheels the bike's going to be pretty stable so i just don't feel like you need to slack in the head angle to make a fat bike stable so that's just my opinion putting it out there <laughs> or anybody uh, put your thoughts in the comments what you think but um, so I actually like the geometry um, I do like the tires and the big fat rims they're 100 millimeter wide rims it just gives this bike like this ability to kind of go over anything <laughs> um, 4.5 tires I do kind of wish they were lighter that's the only thing these wheels are really heavy so this bike's gonna truck through things but it's a lot more work to ride and i have a feeling in the winter and the snow um, especially with the gearing that's on here this bike would be uh, a bear to ride it'd be really challenging in the snow because you wouldn't be able to get into an easy spinning spinny enough gear and you have these heavy wheels and stuff so um, I will not really get a chance to ride this bike in the snow because I just have it for review and then it's going away. So <laughs> unfortunately, I was kind of hoping we'd get some snow, but um, hopefully somebody out there will get one of these on the snow and do a review on it. Uh, don't like the drivetrain. I really don't. Don't like the crank set. Don't like the, um, the Altus 9-speed shifting, whatever. Um, and I definitely don't like the narrow bars and the longer stem. So 
like I like the geometry and I feel like if I had a 50 millimeter stem maybe a 20 millimeter rise bar that was like 30 31 inches wide a couple inches wider than these that then it would make the geometry of this bike feel a lot better but right now I'm like feel it that old school like 15 plus years ago sideways sway of the front end in order to steer and I just don't like that I like the more snappy direct feel unfortunately they don't provide a dropper option but honestly and I've said it before <laughs> I would just drill a hole you know a little ovalized hole feed my own dropper in here I, I wouldn't care at a bike on this that's at this price point and it's aluminum so you're not gonna ruin the integrity um another pet peeve the quick release allows you to not really be able to upgrade it very easily and it's a 135 spacing front which is also old school like almost all fat bikes now are going to uh, 150 millimeter spacing so if i wanted to do upgrades i would get a new fork with a 150 15 millimeter through axle but then i would upgrade the wheels and then you'd kind of be out of luck on the back wheel because you can't change the frame to through axle so you'd have to find like a dt swiss 350 hub with the conversion to, to switch it over um so that just makes it more challenging and what's what's kind of crazy is by the time you spend that kind of money to upgrade it which would significantly reduce the weight of this bike and then upgrade the crankset you're at the price point of like the entry level salsa heyday which used to be a mucklock um it's an aluminum frame carbon fork and uh through axles and pretty nice wheels and everything um this bike nothing is sealed no sealed bearing uh i doubt the headset's even sealed bearing um yeah it is and it's got this rubber thing on there um so it's 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 value proposition is really tough for me i i do like how it rides i mean it's heavy but i like the feel of it and stuff so it's just a tough value proposition at 9.99 um especially when state offers some pretty amazing bikes at a lower price point um that have through axles and everything and i'm gonna do a whole video on that uh probably come right out right after this video <laughs> um i'll do that video so just check for that video and i'll talk a little bit why the value proposition of this bike is tough for me to swallow all right i'm gonna get back out on the trail <laughs> there's our grain elevators and stuff <laughs> um it's the sun is starting to go down i'm gonna actually keep riding out a ways and i'm really hoping that on my way back it'll get dark enough for me to run lights sweet oh yeah this bike is definitely not <laughs> Wow, with my muck leg, I could just pop off that same thing. This bike, not so much. Oh, heavy. Okay, so it's about five o'clock. It's starting to get dark, at least in the woods, but you can still see quite a bit of light in the sky, so it's kind of cool. But it'll get darker before I get done. Let's see, I got some new lights here. They're pretty awesome. Definitely starting to get pretty dark. And these lights are pretty amazing. I always run two lights, one on the handlebar and one on my helmet. Cool.
Oh, this is fun. And you can just see the sun going away over there. Oh, and the moon. Well, I have no idea if you can see that, but the moon. <laughs> Just a little fingernail way off in the distance. I'll have to see if I can zoom in and let you see that on the video. That is amazing. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and finish out this night ride. Or what has turned into a night ride, which is kind of what I was hoping for. It's only a little bit after five, though. <laughs> so... There you have it. I appreciate your support for my channel. Please like and subscribe. Peace. Peace. <laughs> and about that climb at the end. <laughs> oh. Standing up. Whew. Oh my gosh. This bike. Climbing is not a strong bike.